Our bodies are made up of billions of cells, including neuroendocrine cells. In health, neuroendocrine cells help regulate our bodily functions by releasing small molecules that circulate throughout the body and work as hormones or substances that have a similar effect. Neuroendocrine cells are present in endocrine glands, but can also be found more diffusely throughout the body, including just below the surface layer of the skin. When these cells become cancerous, there may be little indication that something is occurring, or there may be a number of signs and or symptoms, depending on where they are, how they grow, and whether they release higher than normal levels of hormones. Many people use the words sign and symptom interchangeably. In broad definition, a sign of disease is any objective or observable evidence of that disease, such as a skin rash, a cough, and or skin flushing. A doctor or family member, as well as the individual experiencing the signs, can see and identify a sign. A symptom is usually less obviously observable. For example, pain and or fatigue. Both are symptoms and can usually only be identified by the person experiencing them. Symptoms are subjective, meaning that other people may only know about them if informed by the individual with the symptom. However, certain symptoms may be observable. For example, pain. However, the type and severity may only be discovered by asking the person experiencing it to describe it. So, the key difference between a sign and symptom is who observes it. If both the patient and someone else, other than the patient, notice the rash, pain, fatigue, it can be classed as both a sign and a symptom. Rare and less common cancers account for almost half of all cancer diagnoses in England and over half of all cancer deaths. This broad term incorporates more than 200 different tumour types, including neuroendocrine cancer, but excludes the four most common malignancies, breast, colorectal, lung, and prostate cancers. In many cases, rare and less common cancers may present with non-specific symptoms, which can also originate from multiple benign conditions. This can lead to delays in diagnosis. For those with neuroendocrine cancer, there may be few signs, but many symptoms, and these can vary and change over time, and may be affected by other influences such as other health conditions, mood, sleep, or rather lack of it, and or age. They may also mimic, mask, or be masked by other health issues, both physical and psychological.